Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, an Apple certified trainer. Lock and Load Pro is the latest version of CoreMelt's instant stabilization system for Final Cut Pro and After Effects. It's much faster and more capable than the built in tools. As well as simple stabilization, it can adapt to a moving area of interest, and also it can compensate for DSLR rolling shutter artifacts. Lock and Load only analyzes the portion of the clip in use instead of the whole clip. It intelligently ignores foreground motion, so if something passes in front of your main subject, you shouldn't have a problem. Drop the Lock and Load X plugin on the clip in the timeline and press Track Motion. This 720p clip analyzes very quickly, even on a laptop, and gives good results without rendering. Also, because Lock and Load looks slightly beyond the current in and out points, you shouldn't need to reanalyze, even if you add transitions. If the tracking doesn't work perfectly the first time, you can define a tracking area within the frame and then press track motion again. If you have many clips to analyze, you can track motion in all of them and keep working in Final Cut. How does it work? Stabilized footage is rotated and scaled, then zoomed to fit the frame. Without zooming, there would be visible black areas around the edges of the clip. There is a trade-off, Heavily smooth motion in the final video means higher zoom and a softer image. The default strategy, Smart Zoom, applies the lowest zoom possible within the parameters you set. You can see the degree of zoom as the clip plays, and, if needed, you can adjust horizontal, vertical, rotation and zoom compensation separately. You can also animate these parameters in over a smaller area of the clip if only part of it needs stabilization. You can even govern zoom manually using fixed zoom. Another important feature is that you can simulate different kinds of camera movements. You can smooth a shot or you can lock it down completely to simulate the use of a tripod. Lock and load can also deal with multiple shots in one source clip by choosing the smooth multi-shot option. In addition to stabilization, you can use lock and load to compensate for rolling shutter artifacts, jello vision in footage from CMOS cameras like DSLRs. You can choose your camera from the drop-down menu or set the compensation coefficient manually. As mentioned, there are two versions of Lock and Load to work around issues in Final Cut. Mostly, you should use Lock and Load X, which uses XML data to analyze the clips. Though this is usually fastest, the Final Cut Pro XML export process can take a long time for a large, complex project. It also won't work for clips with speed changes applied or a frame rate that doesn't match the sequence. In these cases, your workflow may be faster with lock and load frames. One limitation with lock and load frames is that in or out points on the timeline, not the viewer, can cause problems. So, press Option X to clear them before analysis and rendering or use Lock and Load X if you can. There are other tips and tricks available in the help, so please read it before attempting a long, complex stabilization. There is a free 15-day trial available from coremelt.com. Thanks for watching.